So in this video, Bentley chews on a bone, slowly chases some squirrels, we make a dirty boy clean, and then he struts his stuff at the local park with his shiny, fresh coat. And somebody gets a cold treat for being such a good boy. We had some things to take care of outside. A little bit of garden work. So of course Bentley got to come along. But before you do anything outside where he has to stay and mind his own business for more than a few seconds, you kinda have to go around and pick up all the sticks. Otherwise he'll literally eat them. He is trained to drop things and he'll pretend like he doesn't want it, but he does. And he doesn't just chew it and spit it out, unless you tell him. He just eats it on his own. So I picked up all the sticks and stuff, did a few other things, and he generally didn't eat anything on his own, he just observed. So he got plenty of scratchies for only eating a little bit of stuff outside. Next on the agenda was some bone chewing. After a couple minutes of that, it was on to something more interesting, like helping weed the front garden by passing through and stepping on things. We still have a lot more mulch to make, not quite covering everything. Oh look, a squirrel! Guess it's time to slowly chase some squirrels. Great success. Oh, what a surprise, more squirrels. Slowly. Nope, that one's just gonna walk away. Good job, buddy. Another job well done. Angry squirrel. Starting to get a little warm, so he went back inside and did some more bone chewing. But this time, in the comfort of his air-conditioned house and fleece blanket, big sofa, happy Bentley. So after he wore himself out doing that, he hunkered down for a nice Bentley nap, and we used that as an opportunity to get a couple things done in the house. Mostly some plant maintenance. But eventually he heard the commotion and realized that we were doing things without him. So he appeared. But stayed in the house and behaved himself. Was also drizzling a little bit, so he didn't want to risk going outside and getting wet. Just kidding, he does what he wants. So we finished up the plant stuff, and then we kind of realized that it had been quite some time since we had cleaned the beast. So once it stopped raining, 
and figured it was probably time to scrub all the dirt off of him. So first had to clean out his kiddie pool to prepare it to get dirty again. And then prepare it for the beast. And in case he hadn't figured it out already, by this point he definitely knew he was getting a bath. That water smells funny. He's not into that. So then it was just a matter of coercing him over the next few minutes to get into the pool. One foot at a time. One foot. There we go. Other times he'll just walk right in. But. He acts like he hates it, but he secretly kind of likes it. He's pretty water repellent, so we have to uh, usually do two applications of shampoo. A lot of scrubbing. to get him thoroughly wet. We usually bathe them outside now because the kiddie pool is a lot easier for him to step in and out of rather than the bathtub in our house, which is probably twice the height at least. So it's just a lot safer for him. And it was kind of nice out at this point, so even though it looks like he hates it, I still think he kind of likes it. usually takes two full shampoos to get all of the goodies off of him. Even for having such short hair, he's very water resistant so it takes a lot of scrubbing to actually get him like wet and have the soap do anything. Conditioner to soften them up. This is exactly the angle I was hoping for when I set this up. Straight from the back. And that's how you wash a beast. I know he looks very sad right now. But all of a sudden, 
going to realize he was just being dramatic. The towel part is also his favorite. done and he's free. And everybody's wet. So all in all, that's probably like a half hour process to clean the beast. But he's so soft and fresh afterwards. So after his cleaning, generally have to cover the couch with blankets because he's still rather moist and kind of smells like wet dog. So, good times. But he's so fresh and clean. He's a very happy Bentley. So after he dried off and hung out for a while, took him over to the city park and get some smelling done. There's lots of mosquitoes so we had to keep moving. I feel like he looks shinier. Maybe that's just because I know he got conditioned, but I feel like he's a little shinier. clean and confident. This will last a whole day or two, and then he's back to dirty boy status.
starting to get a little warm. I think Bentley was getting sick of mosquitoes on his butt. So we started heading back to the car. Then he changed his mind and decided he didn't want to go back to the car. And then he remembered that there's bugs and it's hot. And then he started going back to the car, so. That's a lot of activity for a 12 year old Bentley boy. But he's not too sleepy to smell his pup cup coming. Such a lucky boy. Couch dessert. Pretty cold, sometimes he gets a brain freeze. Or he forgets how cold it is, I don't know. <laughs>